Well, hey there, Papper people. Today I have something exciting that you guys requested in the comments section. We're gonna be cracking open the Snore Circle YA50, the VV Fly something, the Yeah 50. But before I do, I'm <laughs> distracted by the viewfinder. Now, my wife today, this is, this is free therapy time for me. My wife said, Jason, you look like a missionary. And now that I'm looking in the viewfinder, I don't know what to think. Initially when she said it, I said, bless you, which she found amusing. So that kind of cut the tension. But yes, today we are going to be doing the Lord's work. We're gonna cut this thing open and see what's inside. And we'll be doing so under the ever watchful eye of Lego Man. Oh, it's awesome. You can see there, I have just a bit of a Ryobi fetish. Pretty much if it runs on batteries or can recharge, makes Papa happy. All right, let's go ahead and cut into this thing. Oh, that goes much often. Yes, Lego man. That kind of looks like a Duplo. You gotta love Lego humor. Oh, this goes much often. You should probably do your cpapsapplies.com commercial right now because nobody's gonna watch it after you crack that baby open. You're right. No one will watch after I crack this baby open. Guys, right now, for the month of December, you can get 23% off your order of masks and accessories using discount code GOODBYE23. Now's a great time to check them out. You can use your FSA or HSA account. Those things are gonna be expiring by the end of the year. So you can make that money go really, really far using discount code GOODBYE23 at cpapsupplies.com. Put whatever you're interested in the cart, view, edit cart, select your discount code, Goodbye 23, you just saved yourself 23% off. Let's all rejoice and thank the sponsor of this video, cpapsupplies.com. Let's go ahead and open this now. I mean, now is a really good time to kind of acknowledge this thing looks like a Duplo. I'm guessing the screws are gonna be right under this guy and they are not. So what are we gonna do next? I may just have to actually cut into this thing because I really just don't care. Since I'll never be using this thing, let's go ahead and pry under this and see if we can find a screw. There's really, from what I can tell, there's no way to open this up without absolutely dicking it up. But, dick it up I shall. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to slip a straight edge in there. See if I can pop it off. No screw under there. <laughs> Man, that is some funky plastic right there. You know, I was actually joking when I was pulling out this tool, but I think honestly, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing right now. And we'll be using these. Sometimes I even turn myself on. Duplo makes a very difficult product to get into. Now we could have avoided all this if we just had some screws, you know what I mean? Watch, I'm gonna find the screws right now. As soon as I pop the top, Sandy Monroe would be impressed. Oh, there's the screws. Oh, how silly of me. So it looks like right here, there's some light clips. I could have just popped that off actually quite easy, I think, if I just squeeze the absolute hell out of the top. But we're not gonna be using this anyway. So this is what we're left with in here. This is actually pretty simple compared to some of the other PAP devices I've opened up. Uh, let's dive deeper. That one's not fitting, so I actually need a much narrower screw bit. All these are getting stuck. I need a really small screwdriver. So you know those gifts people give you and you're like, dude, I'll never use that. That's the dumbest thing ever. I just found this. I think it'll work. But now I need a special tool to open this package. Now I've resorted to using this because all of my screwdrivers are way too large. And if someone could just Someone write, that's what she said in the comments section. That would be really helpful. Oh yeah, this tool is actually spiffy. Oh yeah. God, Papa's happy twice. Now's a really good time to mention, I was just recognized the other day as a YouTuber playing basketball. I played basketball at a Mormon church on Wednesday nights and uh, said, hey, I didn't know you're a YouTuber. So that makes, other than my mom, two confirmed sightings, which is pretty special. The first one was when someone saw me at the Los Angeles at LAX and 
said, hey, aren't you that guy from Full House? To which I said, yes, I am. I, I am that guy. So I still count that one, so that's two. All right, this one for some reason is way set back. I don't know what's, what, what that's all about. Ooh, that's gonna be awkward. Let's try some uh, shenanigans. I don't know why, but this one's set way deeper than the rest. And I can't put pressure on that pen thing, the weird screwdriver thing I found. I think if I can just get it going a little bit, we'll be in business. Otherwise, I'm gonna start whacking the hell out of it with something. That's kind of what I always devolve to. If you uh, appreciate the precision of this opening, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more, more fabulous content. I don't think that, look how deep that is. Can we appreciate that this one is set back in there like a mile? So we have some really tiny screws here as well. So let's go ahead and gently remove those. We've been remarkably gentle this entire time. Now we've got opposing forces soldered onto this. So what I'm gonna do is just rip the hell out of it because I don't care. Let's go ahead and ever so gently and lovingly, let's go ahead and cut these. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like I'm talking like the son of Bob Ross. Just add a little shadowing, that's nice. All right, so I'm still stuck with a little bit of a predicament here. I can't get that screw off. And that thing is set so far back. So here's the, here's the question. Do I just pry this thing open? Do I um, try to bypass that by sawing through just this one segment right here? I think I know my answer. That's an affirmative. So we've bypassed the screw. We've also given ourselves a nice leverage point for in which to pry the hell out of this. And why isn't it coming? All the screws are off. Like the conspiracy theorist in me is saying they don't want you to get in here to see how crappy it is. But maybe it's just my ineptitude talking. Let's see if they okie doked us like before. So if we pinch in, uh, it's not pinching. There's no pinchy. Okay, when you have screws, the screws should release. Am I alone in this thought process? So let's go ahead and use this hole. Like that's separating. That looks normal. How about I go all the way through and just bust it? Yes, Jason, that's exactly what you should do. Yeah, there we go. See, they have extra crap in here that's like holding it on. That is definitely glued. I didn't know Duplo uses glue. Okay, now that screw area, yeah, that released. Why was that holding on? That's bizarre. All right. Here's what we got, friends. Let's roll that over. So we had this, it's the top housing for the blower. And this blower is a NIDEC NIDEC TF037F-2000F269A made by NIDEX Electronics Corporation. Let's chop her off. So here's how it goes. So we had this covering on top. The filter was underneath it. So we have the air intake running down this tube, coming out into here. And what's kind of funky is it's all going around where you plug in the tubing. So it eventually sucks it in over here into this open compartment where it would eventually suck in through the top of here. Goes through the little hamster wheel shoots out here and blows. Let's open this up too. We've, we've come so far. There, I think we're all happy now. Better camera angle. You can see my precision craftsmanship. Just pop that little baby off. So when this thing, if you're using it, when it burns out in a week, you can open it <laughs> to this degree of accuracy. And replace your motor, your Nidec motor. So let's go ahead and pull this guy apart. Ooh, nice little pop. It looks like we have magnetic. And you can see the blower in here. I believe it's induction or whatever. 
you have all the coils there that rotate around, cause this to spin, and then it's like a turbine. All of that creates pressure, which is what's supposed to open up your airway. So I can't really tell. Let's see, can we open this up more? We sure can. Let's go ahead and pop the side there. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, geez. All you engineers out there, is that an induction motor? We open that up and you can kind of get a better look inside. Now I've seen inside of um, like ResMed machines, Respironics machines. Uh, they're definitely different than this, but this is it. This is, oh man, that's a small cavity there for creating airflow. So typically they're, the motors are like twice the size of this. They're much, <laughs> they're much larger. That might explain why it's so loud. Anyway, I guess that's about it. Some of you that work with your hands all day, I'm really sorry Grandpa Linky had to show you up with his precision skills here, but it's time you know your place. Now, in all honesty, let me know if you know what some of these components are. Um, I'm really curious. I think I'm fairly certain that is an induction. If I'm wrong, let me know and explain it to me. I'm not that smart. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Do please check out the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com. If you want a pap therapy analysis with me, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. If you're still shopping for Christmas, I'd appreciate you using my Amazon affiliate link. I earn on all qualified purchases. And last thing, if you're looking to buy a Tesla, I am also gonna leave my Tesla referral code in the description box because according to my little squirrel brain, my little squirrel brain logic, now is a great time to buy. I'm gonna have a video on my other channel that I should be uploading prior to this one. I will leave a link to that as well in the description box. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Clean your stinky mask with some mask right available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick Thanks, butter, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espalong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, Deborah Permute, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks, buddy, to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and other stuff. Oh, excuse me, Jason. I think Nidec is how you say duplo in another language, Jason. <laughs>